David, where is Minecraft on the Quest? Where's Minecraft on the Quest 2? How do I play Minecraft on the Quest 2? I've made videos on this before in the past, but I'm going to be showing you how you can officially play Minecraft on the Oculus Quest 2. Oh no, zombie villagers have attacked the Lego city. Three guys burning zombie villagers. They're probably all going to burn before they even get to the doors. Oh no. What are we gonna do? This is the supported way of playing it and the intended way of playing it before it comes officially to the Quest and Quest 2, which fingers crossed that will be soon. I've done so many videos covering this. If you wanna go vote for Minecraft to come to the Quest 2, click on the card above right now to go check out the video and I'll tell you how you can do that. Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump straight into this. If you enjoyed today's video, do click that like button and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it, any support, I'm really grateful for as a, oh 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 I also have new merchandise you like the hoodie I like the hoodie it's pretty cool and all wide it has a, a fully working functional hood and pockets down here that I don't think you can see in the shot not really this is available in a wide range of eye-catching colors that are just mwah, beautiful there's also t-shirts, mugs, and so much more that you can get. Use code DAVID in the checkout for 20% off your entire order. To play Minecraft on the Quest 2 is extremely similar to how you would play it on the Quest 1. Except on the Quest 2 it looks even better with the almost 4K display. Holding our trusty diamond sword is as cool as ever in virtual reality. It's absolutely massive and it looks like so sharp. I'm going to stab by this. Now, let's see who we can stab with this. To do this, you will need an Oculus Quest, of course, and a PC that's able to run Minecraft Bedrock pretty well and just about in virtual reality. You don't need that beefy of a computer to be able to pull off Minecraft VR because it's not a very big graphically demanding game. Yeah, the, the emergency's over. You can come on back out now. You'll also need a cable that's long enough to play virtual reality connected to your PC. Unfortunately, the really short one that's included with the Quest 2 is just too short to be able to use for any PC VR games, which is a shame because with the Quest 1, there was a really long cable included and it was long enough that you could use to actually charge while you played or for connecting to your PC and playing PC VR games. Unfortunately, it's not the case with the Quest 2. This cable is literally like the size of a phone charger, so you're gonna need to get a bigger cable for doing this. There's lots of good value ones over on Amazon, or of course you can get the official one by Oculus for almost 100 euro if you really wanna spend that much on a cable. Now let's walk through these steps. First of all, you gotta boot up your computer, obviously. Once you have that set up, you can go over and open the Oculus app. Once you have it installed on your computer, you wanna go over and look up Minecraft on the Rift Store. Once you get that, you can download it. It's extremely small. It's really just the client that makes Minecraft Bedrock turn into a virtual reality Minecraft Bedrock. This official method only works with Minecraft Bedrock, but you can actually play the Java version if you wanna get some mods in there and you know how to do all that stuff. But I'm only showing the official way of doing this today. Turn your lovely Oculus Quest 2 headset on and plug in the cable long enough into your PC. This doesn't matter if it's a 2.0 or 3.0 USB connection, it will work either way. Obviously a 3.0 one is slightly better and you can actually now tweak the different frame rates that you can get inside of the headset when it's connected with a type 3 USB to your PC. But this is getting extremely technical, let's not talk about all this now. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, you need to accept it in the headset. Once you accept it inside the headset, going with allowed data and also enabling Oculus Link, it will pop up with the Rift home environment inside your Quest headset with the lovely lenses. So when you load up with your Oculus Quest 2 on your PC, it does come up with the Rift menu for the moment. They are actually planning on making a new menu for this, so it will be more like the Quest menu. But in here, all you gotta do is, well, you move this to the side and you go to your library. So I already have it open right here and all you gotta do is click on Minecraft and then launch it. As you can see, it is extremely small, only six megabytes in size because it isn't the full version of Minecraft. This is just a client that turns the bedrock version of Minecraft that you already have installed on your PC into virtual reality. 
Now the next step is pretty important. If you want to actually launch Minecraft in virtual reality, you have to do it from within the Oculus Quest headset and not on your PC. Because a lot of the time people will accidentally open the Bedrock 2D pancake version of Minecraft, which obviously you don't want. You want to play it in full virtual reality, you know? That's what you want, that's why you're here. Let's go. So now I'm loading on into Minecraft and it says that it's checking for updates. This is the Windows 10 edition, so it's the bedrock. So here we are inside of the menus and it says, welcome to VR, oh, that's so nice. So that's pretty simple. All you gotta do is open it inside of the library, inside of your headset. And this is on the Rift platform, remember, because you are connected to your PC right now. So we can access everything else that is normally inside of Minecraft bedrock and play and spend any of our mine coins if we choose to on any of these different packs and all that jazz. I'm actually very interested in the Jurassic World pack. I may end up buying that eventually. It looks cool. Same with the Star Wars one. I know the Mandalorian's in that as well. Dino DNA in Minecraft. Look how cool that looks. Wow. So right here, this is the living room. This is the Minecraft themed living room, which is just so cool looking. It really looks nice and detailed. I can actually use my Oculus Quest 2 controllers to control the screen here. So I am playing Minecraft in VR, playing it in VR, if that makes any sense. I can do everything I'd normally do here. Smash the stuff. It's just like playing it on a normal console, except you're sitting on a nice leather, cow leather, Minecraft cow leather couch. Oh, snuggly, isn't it? All we gotta do to jump into the world of Minecraft in proper virtual reality is press Y and we get teleported inside of the game. Look at this, so now we're actually in Minecraft and everything is to Minecraft Nisness scale. Oh, it's so cool. Wow, this is beautiful. What you've made here, Mr. Cows, is an absolutely beautiful village. Look at all this hay. I love the color scheme you're going with here, guys. The yellow with all these sunflowers around the place, it just really adds to it. Wow, don't mind me. I'm just a lovely adventurer going around. Let me ring the bell, let me see. Everybody run, run for your lives. Run, everyone, get in. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Get inside, get inside, hurry, go, 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 go. I rang the bell because, oh, didn't mean to do that again. There's an emergency. Oh, how are we gonna call an emergency now? Oh no, zombie villagers have attacked the Lego city. Three guys burning zombie villagers. They're probably all gonna burn before they even get to the doors. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh look guys, an entrance, oh, what are the odds? Oh, no one's in here. Breaking into an empty building. What happened? Oh, Mr. Iron Golem came and saved the day, that's what happened. You live in a great village, sir. Here's a question I've been asked a lot. What does it look like for virtual reality players inside of Minecraft VR? To other virtual reality players, or to console players, mobile gamers, or any other person playing Minecraft Bedrock? Well, I've covered this question with lots of different tests, including jumping, spinning around, crouching, and so much more. Seeing what real world movements translate into the game of Minecraft Bedrock. If you're interested in seeing all the results, click on the card above right now to go check out that video. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough guide. It's something that I get bombarded with in the comments section, but something I'm happy to let you guys in on. Hey, by the way, if you want to actually be a part of a little bit of an experiment, I've set up a TikTok account and I'm using that at the moment to put up short videos. My username is at it's David Duggan. Go give it a follow and you can be part of an experiment that I'm doing that I will talk about more in a future video. Do give this video a big fat obese thumbs up because it really helps out the channel, it helps out the YouTube algorithm and it's so easy to do. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it, all the support is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for continuously supporting the YouTube channel. VIP Patreons do get free merchandise, so if you're interested in getting some, whoo, look at that merchandise, for free, oh my gosh, click on the card above right now, and you can get something like this. Look how cool this looks. It's a black 
t-shirt. You can also get it with the Quest 1 headset on if you like. So whatever headset you have, get that one and then you could represent the virtual reality community. Look how cool this is. Thank you to everyone who's already gotten merchandise and are representing the virtual reality community. If you're interested in seeing a video that YouTube's recommending, click on that one right there and click on that button down there so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and you don't miss out on a future upload. Come on, my friends, come on, let's go and party. We have survived another zombie attack that just randomly appeared out of nowhere. It's a shame no one knows who caused it, but I think it was him.